Clap if you have a, a, have a, a pet, if you have a dog. Clap. <laughs> Clap if you have a cat. <laughs> All right, so one girl has both back there. The girl, the screechy girl back there. Good, okay, very happy to have both. That's good. Your car smells phenomenal, I guarantee. <laughs> Type of girl that just lies to you. You're sitting in the car, she's like, oh, the dog got wet somehow. I don't know. Just jumped in a lake. I don't know what happened. You'd be riding in someone's car with a dog and you're like, and, and you know they know it stinks in there, but they're waiting to look at your face to see when you crack the window, you know, when you just sit there. <laughs> and you're just waiting and eventually you're like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's three degrees outside, you're like, I can't breathe, it stinks in here, okay? I can adjust the temperature. Nope, I'm good. I want the fresh air. Ooh. If you have a dog and I'm riding in your car, clean your car a little bit. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to step out and you're like, yeah, open the glove box. I got one of those rolly things so you can get all the stuff off of you. Don't give me that. Just clean the car before I get in. I have a friend who's always like, I don't like cats because they're mean and because they don't listen to you. They do whatever they want to do. I feed it, I give it water, I should be able to pet it when I want to. I'm like, really, is that how it works? What if you went into your job every day and your boss was like, Steve, come here. <laughs> Wouldn't there be a couple days where you're like, don't touch me today. 